set up up here. We're on a little oak flat in between a couple drainages and some roads. The wind is still blowing pretty strong. It's supposed to die down as the evening goes on though. I think the deer should be moving. We got that storm all night last night into the morning this morning. So I'd say they were laid up for most of that. I'm gonna be shooting a doe tonight if I get a chance, but there's a good chance that a buck will slip through here too. There's a lot of red oaks in here and those are dropping right now, so it should be good. Saw quite a few acorns on the ground coming in. I'd say some deer hitting these trees. <clears throat> Keep you guys posted as the evening goes on. Right, right. That's what I'm talking about right there. Quick double up, back to back, hopefully. I know I smoked the first one, but I don't know about the second one. It kind of looked like it piled up right there, but I couldn't tell. I should have had another arrow ready to go. That's, I've learned that so many times and I never do it. That came slipping right up here across the creek. Wind was perfect for the way that they came in. Coming up here to feed on these oaks was perfect. I mean, I shot that one at 20 to 25 yards. I had my pin set on 25, pinwheeler. That one 
hung around long enough for me to shoot it. Get stopped out here in the wind. I've still got two arrows left. Anything could happen. Still got plenty of daylight left. I'll bring it. Back. It shot really low, I think. I can't see it now. Oh, it laid down. Did it? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. What a hunt. That was intense. Three came in, three didn't leave. That's what we like. Well, I guess they left a little bit, but they ain't going far. Watch this one, this last one fall right over here. We'll go get it in a minute. Let's uh, go up here and we might look for the big one first and then we'll go over there and look for that up, that second one I shot. Let's go over here and see if we can find the arrow real quick. Derek had just found the arrow here. Looks pretty good. Definitely messed up that broadhead. Maybe when it fell out, or I'll probably hit some bone. She ran straight down this way. See if she went this way. Oh, she went this way? Yeah. Been following my little tracking hound up through here. <laughs> Derek <laughs> likes to blood trail him. I was following her and she was on blood up through here. I can see the deer laying Literally up Literally right there. <laughs> Just mocking me the whole time. <laughs> Looks like she went probably 70 yards, 60 or 70 yards. Let's get up here and check her out. Good stuff. It's my exit there. She was quartered pretty good. Check out our entrance. Yeah. I'm telling you what, those NAP kill zones do pretty good. I shot that last one with a mega meat, so I'm curious to see what that looks like. What do you hear? Some of the spooks one, do you hear that? No, but it wouldn't surprise me. Good stuff right there, man. Love that. Kaboom, baby! All right, we got two more to find. We better get moving. <laughs> <laughs> Drag this one down to the road. Pretty sure I saw this one fall. So we're just gonna head straight over here to where I saw her last. Go. One more numero dos. Is that the entrance? No, that's the exit. exit. Oh, she's perfectly broadside. Kind of surprised she went as far as she did. Got to go find this arrow and get that other deer. We already know where it's at. <laughs> Dogs are going crazy out here. Apparently something happened with the outro on the video. Uh, we found that deer right where it had bedded down, so we didn't have any trouble there. We were able to get all three of them out of there and I actually donated all three of those deer to a uh, processor that's not too far from my house. They take deer for uh, Hunters of the Hungry program. So definitely take advantage of that. If you guys have one in your area, it's super helpful to a lot of people in need. And it's a good opportunity for you guys to take a few more does, even if your freezer is full. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like it if you did, and please subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're getting into prime deer season here. Just got a new deer rifle, and rifle season's open here in Georgia. Went this morning, saw a small buck and a couple does, but didn't pull the trigger. So be on the lookout for a video. I'll probably try to get a doe here in the next few days if I don't have any luck with a buck just to show you guys my new gun. But anyways, thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.